the honorary motorcade staged in Pacifica. Drivers eager to be the first to drive through the long-awaited $439 million Tom Lantos tunnels at Devil's Slide. Fathers brought sons to witness the historic event. Residents who fought for the tunnel through emergency road closures, one lasted 158 days, gathered to watch. This is a life-altering event. The first major slide happened in 1938, and forced road closures became almost yearly events. Hey, good morning, everybody. We're going to try to get started. Certainly, this is uh, quite the day and quite the festivities, and I really appreciate everybody coming out. These tunnels are the first tunnels we've opened up in the state of California in 50 years. Once they open tomorrow morning, they will be the longest tunnels that we manage at about three quarters of a mile long, um, 4,200 feet. Uh, contractors pulled 420,000 cubic yards of rock and dirt out of these tunnels, which is about 21,000 truckloads to put it into perspective. And it was San Mateo County residents through sheer willpower that made it happen. They resisted the original state plan to build a highway through a pristine inland route. I want us to put our hands together and recognize four women who literally made history by getting this tunnel on the ballot into the national budget and into this mountain. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Lenny Roberts. Zoe Kirsten Tucker, April Vargas, and Senator Barbara Boxer. And of course, let us absolutely take note and remember our late Congressman Tom Lantos, for whom this tunnel is named. And we want to acknowledge in particular um, Tom Lantos's wife, Annette Lantos, who is here with her daughter um, to recognize this extraordinary day. And the unswerving advocates of the tunnelistas as was stated by, by Malcolm Dougherty. All of those yellow and black uh, signs that are out there. What it says to me is that democracy has worked and that people's voices were heard finally and that all came together to bring this day into fruition. And it's no coincidence that Tom Lantos, the namesake of the tunnels, that we proudly opened today was also one of the leaders in Congress to preserve Sweeney Ridge and to make it a part of the Golden Gate National Recreation Area. Uh, let me just say that uh, I've only represented this area in the State Assembly for three months and we have a balanced budget in Sacramento and the Devil's Slide Tunnel has opened. So. So I think I'll just quit while I'm ahead. Um, it is such an honor uh, as chairman of MTC to be here. I'm also joined by my colleague and, and uh, former chair, Adrian Tissier, uh, and Doreen Giacopini, who joined together in congratulating uh, the entire community for this accomplishment. So by maintaining sustain and sustaining our transportation system, we can accomplish our other important regional goals of improving safety, increasing reliability, reducing emissions, and enhancing livability in the Bay Area. And these are precisely the goals accomplished by the opening of the Devil's Slide Tunnels. Five. All right, everyone, help me count it down to five. Five, four, three, two, Commuters passed the invitation-only event, driving on the seven-mile stretch for the last time. The tunnels opened the next day at 2 a.m., Wednesday, March 26th, uniting Pacificans, Montarians, Moss Beach residents, and millions of future tourists with a safe, secure passage through the mountain. 16 powerful jet fans provide air. Cameras monitor the tunnels 24 hours a day and operators can override car stereos to communicate during emergencies. Don't have to worry about the road caving in on you. Don't have to worry about rock falling on you. Well, I just drove through it for the first time today. It was beautiful going in. 
It was uh, pleasant. I even rolled down my window. I could smell the new. It was a very nice tunnel. Everyone always talked about building a tunnel one day, but I wasn't sure if it was actually going to happen. Here we are today, the first day that the tunnels open, and um, it's just awesome. The original Devil Slide will be turned into a bike and hike destination in 2014. At the Tom Lantos Tunnels, Mark Jones reporting.